Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine tutorial video that will show you how you can really quickly and easily create a laser sight or the red dot effect in your Unreal Engine level. Now we all know this effect from movies and video games and many other forms of entertainment where a particular character or more of them use a firearm that has a laser pointer attached to it which then projects a single dot where the aim should be. Sometimes in the movies there is a continuous line coming from the same gun, for example if it takes place in something like a misty room or some space that is enclosed and in darkness and the camera is watching this through a type of, let's call it, um, for example, night vision gear or night vision goggles. In this Unreal tutorial I will create the simple effect, the same effect with just that red dot. So you'll have a single red dot pointing wherever you aim and which will kind of get stronger and weaker depending on your closeness to the same object. Now this is a beginner tutorial and it uses the same principles you can apply when you create for example a flashlight in your Unreal Engine level. In this case it will be kind of a similar thing without having the ability to turn it off or on, just having that kind of laser pointer or dot where you're aiming your gun or where you're facing. Now as you can see I have my Unreal Engine starter content here, it's the first person basic setup. And the thing that I want to edit is the first person character. It's located in blueprints and right here you can see your first person character where I'm going to create the same light and then I'm going to edit it in blueprints to provide that ability to actually move around correctly. I'm going to show you why this is needed quickly or soon enough. So first step is to open the first person character blueprint. You can do that by simply double clicking. And here we have all of the stuff that comes into the first person character blueprint. But we won't do anything with it, we need to get the viewport. And here we're going to add actually the same red dot effect. To do that we're going to add, it's not a big surprise, light. So we're going to add a component and here we're going to search for light. And we're going to use spotlight and immediately it's added to the first person character. We're going to move it slightly up and in front of the gun. We can see the exact position here, but we need to edit this cone. All of it is right here. So we have the inner cone angle and outer cone angle. We're going to decrease the inner cone angle and set the both outer and inner core angle to 1 and we're going to set the source length further something like here and we're going to also add intensity a lot more intensity the last step would be to change color right here as we can see we're going to choose red so it's a full-on bright red and this way we have basically this really simple, really clear-cut laser pointer and let's see it in the game. We're going to compile and save and let's go back to the game. Let's go and play. And right now we don't see it because we're far off, but as we come closer we get it. It's somewhat of a dispersing effect so we'll have it just when we're very really close but we can also edit that in the blueprints of the light I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to keep it like something like this in the game we could call it like something like a close quarter combat spotlight but the main problem is that it's not following my cursor it's stacking it's stuck basically to this plane we need to add another plane which is kind of the y-axis we have the x-axis we're going to need to add the y-axis and we'll have to do that in the first person character blueprint so we're going to go back we're going to keep this we would need of course to 
extend this much further out and uh, kind of edit the source radius and everything else. I'm not going to do any of that. We have that the basic functionality. Instead, I'm going to go to the event graph and I'm going to place the spotlight. It's called spotlight here. So we can add that full functionality of movement. So the first thing I need to get is a node called set world rotation. Here it is. And the second node I need is to get the control rotation, which is actually associated with the pawn, which is my player character. Here it is. The last thing I need is to get the movement of the mouse, which is the mouse X and mouse Y movements. I'm going to do that by adding input and here it is mouse events so I'm going to get mouse X and I'm going to get mouse Y here it is and I'm going to connect them to set for a location The first connection and the second connection and that should be all that is needed for my laser tag or laser spotlight to be kind of fully functional and to follow my mouse so let's try it out we're in the game here is the spotlight and here it is it's following my cursor pretty pretty faithfully even though it's changing and it's when we're really close it's taking on that kind of correct form when we're far away it's not projecting anything and as you can see it's barely projecting anything here that would all need to be adjusted and modified in the viewport where i would actually use the spotlight and edit its settings i'm not going to do that in this video and to be honest i'm not sure actually how all of these should be modified and tweaked to get the same effect on a larger distances and so forth but this is kind of the basics of it with it you can get that pointer and again it follows the same basic logic as the spotlight but with that cool red dot effect that's all for this unreal engine tutorial video thank you so much for checking it out thank you so much for watching it hopefully you find it useful if you do please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you're into unreal engine beginner tutorial videos as you can see these are very basic stuff but hopefully you're going to get something useful from it and be able to apply it to your projects as well there are a bunch of ways how you can support my work, all of them are in the description below, but the most important one and the easiest one you can do is to simply subscribe to my channel, so if you can do that, I would be super grateful. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my new Unreal Engine Beginners tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye!